A remarkable video that was released was a recording of James Martin's full mouth tirade at his TV team, which was made soon after his shocking cancer diagnosis. James Martin's Spanish adventure chef Martin, who is the subject of complaints that he bullied staff members, disclosed that he underwent surgery to remove face cancer in 2018 after receiving his diagnosis. The shocking revelation occurred after a remarkable recording, on which Martin, 51, yelled obscenities at his TV team about a clog drain, was released to the sun. Martin told the newspaper that the outburst was the result of a series of tragic incidents in his life, which started with the loss of his grandpa and continued with the break-in by masked thieves, before coming to an end with the discovery of his illness. After receiving the news that he had cancer on his face, he admitted, I couldn't have the surgery until two days before Christmas, when we had wrapped up filming. Since then, it has come back on multiple occasions, necessitating frequent treatments. On a contentious Zoom conversation in 2018, the year he underwent surgery for his cancer, James Martin's nasty rage that occurred during the production of his show, James Martin's Saturday Morning, took place. However, ITV has also stated that it has talked with the celebrity in response to complaints about how the cast and crew were treated while James Martin's Spanish adventure was being filmed in May. As they attempt to move past the scandal, Martin and production firm Blue Malin stated in a joint statement released on Wednesday that lessons have been learned. Martin remarked that the end of 2017 was one of the most fraught and difficult periods of my life in reaction to a leaked audio of his horrific diatribe. He continued by acknowledging that he was suffering with the loss of his grandfather, the last of his living grandparents, and that he was unable to attend his burial because of business obligations. Martin continued by saying that during that month, while his partner Louise was home alone and he was at work, Masked guys broke into his house and stole items. The 51-year-old then suddenly disclosed his cancer diagnosis, stating that the stress had put him in a very emotional state. While shooting in 2018, he said that his home flooded, causing him to become extremely upset. The chef alleges that the drain obstruction cost him £30,000 in repairs. I acknowledge that I overreacted in regards to the damage to my property, but I can only say that I am human and that strain from my personal life had built up at the time, he told The Sun. Following a series of allegations of bullying, Martin's heated rant was made public. In the tape, he uses 42 expletives, calls his employees F asterisk 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 fried, and instructs them to eat their lunch outside in the F asterisk 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 rain. If not, you're gone, he commanded adding that his crew must treat him and his home with more f asterisk asterisk asterisking respect. Martin and Blue Marlin have collaborated on a number of concerts, and Martin has accepted responsibility for the 2018 incident that resulted in damage to his home and garden. An unfortunate event happened when James' property was extensively destroyed after filming James Martin's Saturday morning in 2018, 
a spokeswoman for Blue Marlin stated, Blue Marlin Television acknowledged ownership. James was astounded by what had occurred and admits, upon thought, that he emotionally reacted, something he utterly regrets. James apologizes for any offense or distress caused, just as he did to the crew at the time. Following this and some challenges recording James Martin's Spanish adventures, James and Blue Marlin Television agree that lessons have been learnt which have been shared with members of the team and with ITV. They continued, James Martin and Blue Marlin Television have incorporated ITV's suggestions and their sharing of best practices, and they are in the process of completely adopting them. Blue Marlin Television has continued to tape more than 500 programs at James House even since the 2018 incident. The well-being of everyone with whom Blue Marlin Television works is still a top concern for the company. In the most recent ITV scandal, Martin has again been accused of intimidating his workers. According to a report, the broadcaster instructed the chef to alter his conduct after getting a complaint about it in May. According to Deadline, questions were made concerning the actor's handling of the cast while James Motton's Spanish adventure was being filmed. ITV declined to comment to Deadline on whether James had violated its supplier code of conduct, which states that individuals should be treated with courtesy, dignity, and respect and that shoots should be free from harassment and abuse. The accusations are the latest setback for ITV, which has been dogged by scandal ever since this morning host Philip Schofield acknowledged to the media about having an affair with a younger male colleague. Schofield, who was fired from the program, was also accused of bullying co-workers, but ITV could find no proof to support these claims. At ITV, people and their welfare are our top priority, an ITV representative stated. The duty of care of everyone they work with, both on and off screen, is primarily the responsibility of the production firms that create our shows. As part of our duty of care pre-greenlight processes, we are explicit about our expectations in this respect. This involves putting in place suitable independent controls to allow everyone who works on their programs to voice concerns in a secure environment. Following a complaint we received in May from members of the Blue Marlin production team regarding the filming of James Motton's Spanish adventure, we contacted Blue Marlin to discuss these concerns and to learn how the issues raised were being addressed and what actions were being taken. The ITV spokesman continued. As a result, we made a number of recommendations for Blue Marlin to implement as soon as possible, sharing best practices of some of our own relevant pros.